Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, I am going to be taking you guys through how to get free dark matter George Mikan as quick as possible. So I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, how long is it gonna take? How do I get this as quick as possible? And I'm gonna kind of explain my thought process behind each and every one of these challenges, how to get through them as quickly as possible. So the first thing I see, obviously, you need 61 points with the Lakers center. So I'm gonna have to go into domination at some point because that's in one single game. You also need 42 rebounds with Lakers players. So you can do a lot of that within the domination game as well. We're gonna try five triple threat offline games, three triple threat online games, as well as one unlimited game. So just off of the first looks, looks like you can get this done in just over an hour. That's kind of my guess. We'll kind of keep track of the time here. But that's just my initial guess. Now, 61 points with any Lakers center in a single game, it's not necessarily gonna be the easiest challenge. But if you do go into domination with a guy like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you are going to be able to get the challenge done decently quickly. Now, another thing about this is the 42 rebounds. I think that can be with any with all Lakers players, right? So you look at this Lakers single game rebounds, but get 42 rebounds with Lakers players over multiple games. So if you do head into domination, you're also going to want to stack your whole lineup with Lakers players. Now, I don't know how many I specifically have. But like Norm Nix and Alex Caruso, and then you plug in, you know, Michael Cooper type player right there. You just want to stack your lineup with Lakers players. So every rebound that you do grab, it's going to go towards uh, towards the ultimate goal. So like even a Trevor Reza can go here, and then I can move Worthy to the four. So that's just something that I personally am going to do. You don't have to do that exact same strategy as me. But if we're going to be heading into domination anyways, you're going to probably want to stack your lineup with Lakers players to try to get these rebounds done as well. For me specifically, I haven't grinded any of domination if i was you guys though i i would play one of the worst teams in the nba so whether it's you know whether you like playing the Cavs, i think that's a decent enough team to play the hawks whoever whoever it is you guys can choose the pistons there's so many bad teams it's not gonna really matter i would just try since it's a center try to go up against a non you know super good center so you know the Cavs. obviously i don't know who they necessarily have but the knicks for example they don't have a good center so for me it's gonna be easy play this on rookie difficulty and really my main goal in this game my only goal is to score 61 points with the Lakers center. That's all I need to do as well as just trying to get these rebounds done because after that, the rest is really easy. So for me, really, I just sit in the 2-3 zone the entire game because it doesn't really matter. I just don't want to have to try to pay attention because you don't have to win this game. You just got to try to stack up rebounds, right? So the 42 rebounds, that's part of it. But really, my entire offense is just sending Kareem to the bucket and then just trying to get, you know, layups, dunks, whatever it is. It's on rookie difficulty, so it should be easy enough to average 15 points per quarter with Kareem, which is all you really have to do. If you want to, you can get in your Hawks freelance and burst to the rim with Kareem. I mean, you can you can do that as well, but it's really not going to be too hard. Like ultimately, guys, if you if you get Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or if you have him, or obviously some of you guys might have Anthony Davis, you're going to be able to make it work. And the Knicks is not a bad team to go up against because, as I've said. They don't have a super incredible big, but I'm just kind of showing you guys how to get through the domination game and get through these challenges as well, because we'll probably get these rebounds challenges done if I had to guess in this same game. So you can kind of take out two with one, get the rebounds and points. Then all you have to do is worry about the triple threat and unlimited games, which obviously you can do if, as long as you're good at the game, you can do those in no time. So really you got the 20 minute domination game, but if you can get the challenges done, then you can just go and do your thing, right? You don't have to worry about the specific challenges after that, which I personally, that's part of what I like about this specific challenge and grinding for George Mikan. The big thing is I didn't have to spend MT going out and getting a Lakers center, right? I had the Ruby Kareem. I don't even know where he's from, but you can really do it with any center. To be honest with you, even if I had a gold player out here, I could probably get it done with them. This challenge is not hard at all. You just got to really, I mean, like I said, send them on back cuts. I think this challenge is probably going to be easier on current gen than next gen if I had to guess. Just because the fact that back cuts are in the game. But once you get that, really, I would turn your focus to rebounds. Because I will say that you have to get a lot of rebounds. The 40-some rebounds is a lot. And even in, even in, I mean, I think it has to be with Lakers players. So, I mean, you don't want to have to go into triple threat or unlimited with specific Lakers players, right? So you want to get all those challenges done within this game. And if you look at my rebounds, I think I got five right now as a team. So I would say we're on pace probably, but you know, you just got to really make your opponent shoot. Now, this is a little trick that I personally do as far as these games are concerned. In the last, in the last minute of the first quarter, the last minute of the second quarter, last minute of the third quarter, I just try to let the time run. So what does that mean specifically for me? Why well, I take long possessions? Because 
the clock stops after made baskets and obviously if you want to get through this as quickly as possible because i think as long as you get to quit and unlimited you can get through this possibly possibly in nearly one hour's worth of time you just you got to take advantage of all the time possible so for me obviously this is just running out the first quarter clock because i'm easily going to get my points with kareem he's already got 24 obviously an extra rebound in there is nice but then i'm just going to run the clock out just trying to get through this as quickly as possible is one of the main things that i suggest if you try are trying to you know just get through george mike so right now i do have the 61 points with kareem as you guys can see i don't have a ton of rebounds though so i mean for the rest of the game it's kind of what i'm gonna work on i probably won't end up getting all of them that i need but i mean i think i can work on it and at least get sort of you know closer to that goal and my thing is even if i have to use kareem in one triple threat offline game or multiple triple threat offline games i'm not gonna lose them it's not that big of a deal. So right now I'm at 40 rebounds, so I only need two more rebounds in the entire game, which is pretty much guaranteed to happen. Obviously, just a couple missed shots from my opponent, and I'll get there. So that's the big thing. Obviously, Kareem's got 20. My guards only got three between them. But even those three extra rebounds between the guards, which is why I recommend playing your entire squad, can be the difference between you getting the rebounds or not. Because like I said, after these challenges, you just have to win. What is it? I think it's three triple threat online games, five triple threat offline and then a game of unlimited so kareem's 61 points is checked off the list you guys can see the total rebounds i had 44 so let's just see our little update on the george mike and grind now we just got to win tri five triple threat offline games and the rest is just winning games so that's easy enough to get done i don't have to worry about doing anything special i just got to worry about winning the game which is obviously super super nice especially at this point tyrese Hi tyrese halburn and my bronze are going to carry me through the triple threat offline grind. We just got to win five quick games. Now, again, if you're current gen or next gen, it doesn't really matter. It's the same strategy. I would still go into domination, get that done. Because at the end of the day, you got to get those 61 points somehow. You can't really get that done in triple threat online. You might be able to, I, I don't know if there's any challenges out for like 60 some triple threat games. Or 60, uh, a triple threat game with 60 some points. If that's the case, you could probably get it done in that. But I, for me, I would just rather just go into domination, get the easy, get the easy points. It took me three quarters anyways, and not even have to worry about it because those triple threat games be taking some time too, probably not as long. But it's the same kind of concept. Now we'll see if I have any vault luck today or not. Again, I'm gonna just make sure this thing is updating as we go along, so I'm not playing triple threat games for no reason. So we're gonna just check the agenda real quick to make sure these things are working. It does say one out of five, so yes, yeah, so this thing is going through. It's working, which is just a great sign. Hopefully our last vault for the day, it should be as long as the XP stuff worked out for me. It didn't open, but that's fine. We should be three out of five as far as challenges are concerned. Let's make sure here. Yep, we got our five contracts. This is good. Now we need to win tr three triple threat online games. So I'm just going to go out there with my best squad that I can honestly assemble, which who is it? Danny Ferry. Then let's throw who else we got? Danny Ferry, Matumbo, and Bill Russell. Look, don't complain to me. Complain to the game. We're on pace here. We still got seven or eight more minutes until we reach the hour mark and we're through all of our triple threat online games. I want to make sure they all count after this. So then make sure I only got my one unlimited game left to play because if that's the case, I would say we got a 50-50 chance of getting this thing done within one hour, which would just be wild. Getting a free Dark Matter, you know, George Mike and card all within an hour worth of time. And we do have one unlimited game to win this is the squad we're going into Unlimited with. Can I get a quit within the first couple minutes of the game to secure George Mikan within one hour? I'm praying for a bad opponent here, and oh my goodness. This is picture perfect. The one thing is, I think for whatever reason, there's XP challenges out, and I think he might be grinding them. Forget the XP challenges I told you. All it takes is one quit, and we got it right there. That should count towards my game, right? It counted for a win. And there it is, Warp Reality Pack and George Mikan secured in exactly 56 minutes for me. The time I started the grind to end it took me less than one hour. Now, the average person is probably going to take an hour and a half or so. But dark Matter George Mikan secured in one hour. So if you're grinding George Mikan or wondering how to get through it quickly, this video should provide that help for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.